So you've taken an RX-8 and then you converted it to an electric vehicle. That's correct. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the f***? What we've changed is the actual motor. It's a EM57 Nissan Leaf motor adapted to a Mazda stock gearbox. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. You, you haven't got it registered? No, not yet. You're just driving it at night, is it? <laughs> well, don't tell anyone. So whose car was it initially? It was actually a friend of ours who blew up the motor. <laughs> Look, I know that trick too. I always say, our oh, friend did that, you know? <laughs> Presented by Your Energy Answers. Okay, we're here with Ivan and Brendan. So how the hell did you manage to get the battery and the rest and do all that? You want to make that your business? We're a fairly new team. We set the team up five months ago and we, all of us, we love cars and we've been working on cars since we're 16. But we decided, you know what, we'll take the rotary out because it blew up and we'll put an electric motor in there. So just come and let's have a look at the yeah, engine please, and tell me, tell me what you guys actually did. I don't really know how a Mazda normally looks under the bonnet. Yeah. That looks different. That looks different. Yeah. What's actually original? So all the braking system, all the cooling, window washers, and the electrical system, wiring for the actual car. What we've changed is the actual motor, which is the initial part of the drivetrain, and the actual control unit here. Got it. It's a EM57 Nissan Leaf motor, adapted to a Mazda stock gearbox. So it's still a six-speed manual, which I think the car enthusiasts would love. The gearbox, because it's manual, first and second gear just spins the tires. So we start off in third, and you know it's, it gently moves around. It, all the gears work, we've revved it up and it's, it all works perfectly and we're actually quite happy with it for the progress we've made and it's been less than six months. Now, what's the biggest learning that you've had on deciding just on the spur of the moment to take a Mazda, convert it, What's the learning, the biggest learning that you've done? Funnily enough, this wasn't the first chassis. So when we started out with a Honda, first major learning that we had was the transverse mounting of a motor is quite difficult. So that's when we swapped to a rear wheel drive chassis, which is the RX-8. And it was actually quite easy to mount it to the, well, I say quite easy, but it's quite simple, not easy. Brendan here, he, he worked really hard on the wiring and the systems involved in the motor control unit. And I think you can talk about it as well. But we're here to show out what we can do and push our own limits individually as engineers and learning to be engineers and as a team. Other than knowing that uh, you picked the wrong car to put the engine in, what's the other big learning you did? The electronics, because um, this is a 2005 car, the, the way the CAN bus, how the systems communicate is different to a very old car. There's quite a few hurdles in that we had to overcome and we're still in the process of overcoming a couple of these. But that's probably the next biggest step. Did, did you ever think about it and and maybe your girlfriend said why the hell are you doing this <laughs> yeah there's been some questions like that but uh i've always loved cars since i was young and uh this is just the next evolution for me so yeah excellent thank you so much it's great to see you that's that's really great idea but you had to bring it here from all the way from where you paid for the shipping as well. No, we trailered it. We towed it on the oh. trailer. Oh. Yeah, all the way here. So you towed the EV with the petrol car? <laughs> diesel car, more efficient. Diesel, diesel. You better not tell your customers that. <laughs> well, no, funnily enough, we're, we're hoping to, after the rear-wheel drive, we're hoping to sort of move towards four-wheel drive as well. So yeah, we we've actually got plans for that. So hopefully, next show, we tow it with a four-wheel drive. Okay, got it, got it. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.